Rise and rise of biofuel has turned swathes of the British countryside yellow as oilseed rape replaces wheat and other food crops. But just as biofuels become a mandatory element of what goes into our petrol tanks, their reputation is taking a hammering. From tomorrow, at least 2.5% of every litre of petrol or diesel sold in the UK must come from an agricultural source. Eventually, the EU wants that to rise to 10%. But some green campaigners believe the rush to biofuels, and particularly palm oil-based ones, is fundamentally unsustainable, because in some parts of the world, rainforests are being cut down to grow it. Well, more and more evidence is actually coming to light showing that biofuels um, destroy natural habitats, uh, they displace people, they're competing with food, so we're seeing massive food price rises, and above all, they're probably not going to be that effective at tackling climate change. Some argue there are good and bad biofuels. The National Farmers Union says unlike some crops, those grown in the UK, such as rapeseed and sugar beet, are sustainable to produce. It's a highly sensitive distinction. After Greenpeace accused Tesco of trying to hide the fact it uses palm oil in its biodiesel, the supermarket has today insisted it was clear all along that palm oil is used only in fuel for its delivery lorries and isn't sold on forecourts. But perhaps the Achilles heel of biofuels is their role in soaring food prices. This was Haiti at the weekend, where violent street protests forced the government to reduce the price of rice by 15%. Here, the Chancellor, Alistair Darling, has called for action from European finance ministers, saying the diversion from food crops to biofuels is causing a distortion of the market which can't be allowed to continue. And yet, farmers are still growing biofuel crops and the car industry is still developing engines that can run on agricultural substitutes for fossil fuels. Friends of the Earth says its survey on the issue shows two-thirds of the British public want the government to focus instead on improving public transport and more than three-quarters want cars to be made more efficient rather than rely on biofuels.